Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. You know, being cheap in the Philippines can actually cost you in the short run and the long run. And let's talk about that a little bit. I want to show y'all, man, it's really been raining here, man. Look at all that water and mud. I'm glad. The, the ground was thirsty. We really needed it. It has been some flooding, though in some parts of San Carlos City. But, you know, the bottom line is we needed rain. But here lately, man, it seems like on YouTube and just in conversations general, everybody's become infatuated with living as cheap as you possibly can in the Philippines. You know, getting as much as you possibly can for as little as you possibly can. And I'm going to tell you something, man. The Philippines is the worst place in the world to be cheap because you literally get what you pay for over here most foreigners when they come over here and they talk about cost of living they're saying okay i can live the same standard that i was living in the west for a whole lot less but they're not trying to be cheap they're not cheating themselves and I just want to talk about it to the new man and woman. Anybody out there who's thinking about being cheap over here because you see it. You know, I remember me and Marilyn, we rented a 7,000 peso per month house. But hell, it was a dump. We had to move out, man, because of sanitary reasons. The landlord wouldn't do nothing. She's trying to get money, get, trying to get a rent early every month. The septic tank had overflowed. I got back just in time from the lockdown in uh, Zamboanga. You know, when the lockdown, it was still the lockdown, but I got back here just in time to get us out of that place. It's too restrictive, man. You know, you can't do anything. One thing I like about the Philippines, and many other people do, many other foreigners, is we're able to enjoy the best that the Philippines has to offer. I apologize, it's early. So you're gonna see this dog. Well, that dog. My boot dog. And you just can't do that being cheap. I'm not talking about being stupid with your money, giving it away and throwing it away, but I'm talking about being cheap. You're not gonna be able to go any place it's going to be boring because most of the nice places over here you're going to have to spend some kind of money i didn't retire to cheat myself it's, it's just that simple if you want to go to baraka you got to spend some money so it's very restrictive man you know who, who wants to just hang around the house all day long you know but let me be honest, to some people just being over here in the Philippines is enough, but not for me. I'm going to enjoy my retirement. I worked hard for this money. I'm just, just going to sit on it because you can't take it with you. My buddy John, perfect example, man. He was cheap, man. You know, he bought that those cheap cigarettes, the cheap liquor, and it killed him. And he wasn't able to take all that money, not one peso with him. Okay. And I'm not picking on John, it's just that being cheap costs you in the short run and the long run. I want the best the Philippines has to offer. You know, one of the reasons why we come here, man. But it's restrictive, you can't go anywhere. It's time consuming, man. It takes a lot of effort, man, to be cheap. Believe it or not. It does. You got to sit there, man. And just imagine if you going to, let's say, Barakai or somewhere, and you got to go to a hundred different places because you're trying to find the cheapest place to stay there or the cheapest flight. Don't do it, guys. Don't come over here to the Philippines and be cheap. I mean, if you don't have enough money to stay, you know, permanently man just come here for a trip man but but don't cheat yourself i was looking at some numbers today from the tourism department 
And they're saying the same thing. Okay, the average stay in the Philippines for tourists is 11 days. It's gone up. About three years ago, I did a video talking about that. Hey, man, Buntak. And the average stay was nine and a half days. So people are staying longer, but also they're spending more money. The average tourist spends $141 a day. That's not being cheap. Okay, because it, it costs to do the things that you want to do over here. And I didn't retire to come over here and cheat myself. I'm going to keep saying that. But it's time consuming. It's takes a lot of effort to be cheap. And nobody wants to be around a cheapskate. A tight wide. You're being inconsiderate. Remember I told you about the guy from Oklahoma City. Comes over here. Takes him and his girlfriend. Well actually the family. Out to McDonald's. And he only buys him and the girlfriend something. See that's being cheap. You should expect that you're going to spend. Some extra money over here. Ladies and gentlemen, when you come, you're, you're really on vacation. And the Philippines is a great place to have a retirement vacation. But nobody wants to be around you. Eventually that woman, man, boom, talk. Eventually that woman's not going to want to be around you. I certainly don't want to be around somebody penny pension. You know, looking for somebody else to pay the bill all the time. Won't tip. You're just not fun. To be around, man. You don't want to go anywhere. Don't be cheap over here, guys. It's embarrassing. It's going to embarrass you. Remember I told you that there's advantages to people thinking that you have money. You're going to meet people you normally wouldn't meet. You're going to be invited places you normally wouldn't be invited. But being cheap, eventually it's going to get around. The word's going to get around. And you're just cheating yourself, man. Being cheap, you know, you know how much money you got in the bank, right? How many times y'all heard me say this? But you don't know how much time you got left. Go ahead and spend some of that money. That's what you work so hard for. I mean, splurge on yourself every now and then. I mean, some guys over here, man, I won't go a thousand feet near them. They're so cheap. And it's just, you know, it's not worth it over here, man. This is a literal paradise, really. I mean, I was trying to explain something to my ex-wife, my ex-Filipino wife. I think one of the reasons she really didn't want to come back here to the Philippines was she thought, you know, her memories of the Philippines and living over here is something totally different than the lifestyle we were actually going to live. And I couldn't get that over to her. She thought that, you know, it meant struggle. It don't mean struggle. I, I didn't come all the, way, all the way here to struggle. Or the penny pinch and all that, man. So, if I want a nice steak, I'm going to go to Dumaguete and get me one. Oh, uh, You know, uh, Bacala City or whatever it is. If I want a nice pair of shoes, I'm going to buy them. Or a nice pair of glasses, you know. You get what you pay for over here, man. Okay, you, you want to buy a cheap motorcycle, that's what you're going to get. It's going to break down. Cheap clothes, the same thing. You know, a lot of the stuff here is from China. You know the reputation China has. Go ahead and splurge on yourself, guys. Don't be cheap over here. The women do not like that. Okay, they're with you for a reason. Okay, because they want the good times. They want the good life. Okay, if you're going to be cheap, then stay single. Stay by yourself. Because nobody's going to want to be around you. But I wanted to talk about that. Because people seem to think that's, that's virtue in being cheap. I mean, why are you saving all that money for? We're getting older. I'm 61, man. I mean, I'm not going to be a fool. I'm going to make sure I got everything I need, but I'm not going to deny myself any of the creature comforts being in a place like the Philippines where I can live the same lifestyle I was living in America better for a whole lot less. 
that's not being cheap. Being cheap is coming over here, staying in a three or four thousand peso a month uh, apartment or house, and you know, and bragging about it. We had a, a okay. Well, no, it's, it's far from here. It was called Malawi. <laughs> we rented that place. Actually, I was in Zamboanga when Maryland rented it. Okay, because our lease ran up in the apartments. We had a nice apartment, but we wanted a house. So she gets this place. Oh, 7000 I'm, I'm happy. I'm like, wow, good. Man, this place was a dump, dude. I mean, to talk about it is uh, <laughs> painful. That's how bad it was. Can you find good places here? You know, around 10,000 pesos, yeah. But you get what you pay for here. I always remember that. When you come over here, you know, you're not gonna be able to do anything is what I'm trying to tell you. When you get here and you meet that woman, okay, she's gonna wanna go somewhere. I'm sorry, but she is. Most of the women that we meet, they've never been anywhere. They've never enjoyed the best that their country has to offer. So they're looking for you to do it. But you get off the plane, you tell me, no, we're going to stay at the pension house for a week. You know, you, you, you're hoping and praying that it has a damn swimming pool. You know, you're catching a jeepney every damn where. Uh, these long ass bus rides, you know, you're too cheap to get on the plane or whatever it is. You want to eat at the Carinderia and all that. You're wasting this woman's time. You're wasting everybody's time around you. Because for a little bit more, you can have everything that the Philippines has to offer, man. I'm not going to cheat myself, guys. I promise you. Don't do it. But y'all ain't listening. We become infatuated with that subject of cheapness over here. I'm going to live on 500, 600 a month and all that, man. Imagine the lifestyle you're going to have. Y'all fantasizing, man. Y'all romanticizing being cheap. There's nothing romantic about that. When you get over here, it gets boring. <laughs> okay? You better have some money to go to the beach every now and then. Hell, to get the lechon every now and then. Okay, buy you a nice motorcycle for you or the girl. Hell, there's nothing wrong with getting a bargain. Hey, but, but being cheap, man, that's something totally different. So I wanted to have that discussion today because it came across my mind. Everybody coming over here trying to get... The most that they possibly can for, for the least that they possibly can. You have to understand, this is the Philippines, man. People are struggling over here. Why would you want to come over here and be cheap? Okay, you go to the restaurant. You don't want to tip the people. Okay. Oh, they don't deserve it. You say. Guys always ask me all the time, especially the first time. Listen, if this is your first time coming to the Philippines... Let me tell you this. Spend a little bit of money on yourself. Make some mer uh, memories for yourself. They always ask me, well, what's a good place uh, in Cebu? You know, it's not over the top, but it's not cheap. The Baez Hotel, B-A-I-S. It's a pretty decent place. You know, you're going to spend 60, 70 U.S. dollars for it. It's going to be about 3,500. But man, is it nice. Uh, but you can go to the diplomat if you want to. Okay, downtown. Okay, for about half that price. But you're not going to get the nice buffet. You're not going to get the gym. You're not going to get the swimming pool. You're not going to get the location right across the street from the mall. You're not going to get any of that being cheap. Yeah, you're going to get a bed with air con, hot and cold water. I'm a two-star guy. I'm a simple guy, but I'm not cheap. Okay, I'm not cheap. Nothing in my house costs over $300 for a reason. Not because I'm being cheap, but I'm in the Philippines. It's not required. But anybody's ever come to my house, they'll see. 
I do not cheat myself. I do not skimp. I do not count pennies and pesos. I live, man. That's what I worked those years for. Come over here to the Philippines to be cheap. That woman's not going to be around you. I certainly don't want to be around you. You're not going to get the best that the Philippines has to offer. I'm going to say this and I'm done. Say this again. When we're talking about cost of living, most of us, it means I can live the same lifestyle over here for half the cost. On average, the Philippine cost of living is 53% less than in the United States. Rent is 85%. Okay. You can do it that without being cheap because you're going to get what you pay for over here and it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you friends, going to cost you time, going to cost you effort. You're not going to be able to go anywhere. The woman that you come over here to see, you're going to lose her. Just think about that, guys. If you don't have enough money to stay permanent, just stay, you know, for as long as your money runs out. Go back home, save up some more and come back and do it again. But just don't be cheap. So thank y'all so much for stopping by. It's early here, man. It's probably about 6.30. You know, this is day 35 of my no processed sugar, no cookies, cakes, candy, chips, any of that stuff, man. I'm trying to change my life. It's never too late to be great. People say, well, why you want to wait till you get 61? Well, why not? Why not stretch this fourth quarter and take it into overtime? I certainly want a better quality of life. If you're in America, in the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, Brazil, Colombia, wherever you are, man, help somebody today. Make their life just a little bit better. And in, and in doing that, you're going to make your own life better. Y'all don't believe it. That's why you don't do it. That's certainly being cheap. You're not going to do it. You're not going to help anybody, man. You come to a place like the Philippines that don't want to help nobody. It's being cheap, man. I don't know what you're holding on your money for. A lot of us are well in our 60s, 70s, 80s. What are you holding that money for? Help somebody. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people. We help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. Don't do anything stupid, man. Don't come over here and cheat yourself out of a good life over here that you could have for about l l less than half of what you were spending in America. Are there some deals over here? Yeah. I'm going to talk about that on my live stream today. Smart money. You know, some things just by virtue of what they are over here are going to cost you less. Health care for you and your family. Because if you're going to give that woman some money, you know, buy her a field health policy. That's smart money. But I, I'm coming back here because I want to show y'all these apartments real quick before I get off of here. People have been asking me how much they are. See, you don't have to be cheap to live good. Paying less doesn't make you cheap. Being cheap takes effort. You know. There's a vlogger. He stays up in Luzon. He claims he's got a, you know, $80 a month apartment who wants a fucking 80 dollar a month apartment over here in the philippines don't do don't be that guy okay i'm just saying man don't be that guy okay it's called azk townhomes i'll show you how this behind me these are brand new they're really nice okay the, the number is 320 Three four eight one again AZK townhomes zero nine one seven three two zero three four eight one and they're for rent they're brand spanking new let me see let me show y'all a better picture of it I mean they're brand spanking new it looks like one two you got three of them that are still open guys there you can take this. Let me see. Wait. What's that? I don't see it. Oh, there. See, there's the number. 
right there again. But a lot of people were asking about that. These are really nice. They're probably 15 to 20,000 pesos. Take care, everybody.